just to give people some perspective here, here's a guy that grew up right here in Southern California. Uh, you know, obviously we broadcast to your neighborhood there. Here's a guy that went through some addiction, went to prison, and has come out. And you are a you're a generous guy. You give back. You love what you do. You work hard at your craft. What was a turning point for you, Danny? Uh, Solid Dad, 1968, Cinco de Mayo, because everybody thinks that Cinco de Mayo means 5th of May, but if you're like a real deep-hearted Mexican, it means get bail money. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to jail. So we had a big riot. <laughs> we, had a, we had a big riot in Solid Dad, and I got in a lot of trouble, you know, uh-huh. and I just kind of knew that I was going to spend either spend the rest of my life in prison or I'm going to take drugs and alcohol out. It was that simple. It wasn't no big, you know, like, uh, what do I have to do? It's like we know what we have to do, you know. It's like you keep getting in trouble because of drugs. And that's my message to young people is drugs and alcohol will ruin your life. Any problem you have will get worse with drugs and alcohol, and any problem you have will get better without them. And, and it's just a fact. When did you then determine that you had this focus or this passion, desire to learn to be a good actor? Well, it, you know, it wasn't kind of a, you know, like you're trying to be an extra. I was trying to make some dough. I was really, I was kind of a, I've been a drug counselor ever since I got out of prison. But I was trying to be an extra and I was on a, went to a movie set trying to help this one kid. And, and I ran into a guy named Eddie Bunker. I asked him, what are you doing here, Eddie? And he says, I adapted the screenplay. I didn't know what that meant. <laughs> but but uh, he says, are you still boxing? Because I held a lightweight and welterweight champion in every penitentiary I was in. And, and he said, uh, I said, no, 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 I don't want to get hit in the face anymore. I'm 40 years old. And he said, uh, well, you know what? We need somebody to train one of the actors how to box. And I said, what's it pay? And and they were going to give me 50 bucks for acting like a convict and, and – uh, <laughs> He said it pays three twenty a day, and I said, "How bad you want this guy beat up? <laughs> <laughs> how, many, how many days you want me to beat him up?" Yeah, he, <laughs> he said, "No, no, you got to be careful. The actor's a little high strung. Uh, uh, you know, he's already socked a couple of people." And I said, "Eddie, for three hundred and twenty bucks, give him a stick. You know, I can beat up." Her for, and we talked to Eric Roberts, and Eric Roberts chose me to train him to box with yeah. him, and I ended up. I ended up in that movie. A, a director named Andrei Kajalowski, a Russian director, asked me, he said, you be in movie. You fight Eric in movie. And you be my friend. I remember that. If you come from prison, you don't like people saying, you be my friend. And, <laughs> Freaks you out a little bit. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, You're like, wait a yeah. minute. Yeah, wait a minute. Hold on. What, <laughs> and, and then he that. leaned over. Then he leaned over and he kissed me in one cheek and kissed me on the other cheek and walked away. <laughs> wow. I, I told Eddie, look, I'm gonna train the kid for 320, but if I'm gonna be kissing that old man, I want more money. <laughs> <laughs>